These days, it can seem like scientists and researchers are making mind-blowing discoveries each and every minute. From the outer reaches of space to our long-forgotten past, we are only starting to scratch the surface of what we can potentially uncover. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these recent discoveries. Radiation 16 times above normal after forest fire was created near Chernobyl. Chernobyl was the name of the Russian nuclear power plant located in the city of Pripyat in the north of the Ukrainian SSR, formerly the Soviet Union. It is the site of one of the world's most devastating nuclear power plant accidents in the history of mankind. Ever since the Chernobyl accident in 1986, the area has witnessed meltdown and consequently fallout of radioactive substances into the environment. It has left the area desolate and relatively quiet. The surroundings for many years were declared unsafe. The disaster took out as many as 100 people, with over 40,000 people being evacuated from the area. The impact of the Chernobyl disaster led to the immediate increase in radiation, hence the need to evacuate everyone from the area. Until recently, after more than 25 years since the accident happened, and as a result of an unexpected wildfire, Reports have emerged about the area seeing above the normal levels and just below the maximum permissible amount of radiation. According to Yegor Fursov, the head of Ukraine's ecological inspection, the radiation is above normal in the center of the fire. Yegor posted the video of the reading of the Geiger Muller counter on his Facebook page showing the increasing level of radiation. According to the emergency services, the maximum allowable amount of natural background radiation is 0.5. Unfortunately, Yegor's Geiger counter read more than four times that level. The fire could not be put out immediately because the radiation level was 16 times above the normal level that was discovered, and so nothing could be done to put out the fire. But with the help of experts, they were able to overcome the radiation spike limitation. It is worthy of note that despite the radiation peak, which was alarming especially since it was at the center of the fire outbreaks, it was surprising to experts that these radiation levels did not affect Kiev, which is the capital of Ukraine, and the suburbs around the area. As a result, this did not lead to a crisis, as there was no casualty. The investigation is ongoing to understand more details about the increased radiation level and why it did not spread. Fungi found in Chernobyl feeds on radiation. Scientists in Russia have discovered a type of fungi in Chernobyl that uses the process of radiosynthesis to feed on the area's radiation. This fungus, now identified as Cladosporium spherospermum, has been found to block harmful radiation and use melanin to convert gamma radiation into chemical energy. In the future, scientists are interested in using this fungus to help protect astronauts from radiation in space by creating a radiation-absorbing shield layer from it. The fungus was first discovered in 1991, though at the time, scientists did not fully understand its radiation-blocking and converting properties. In addition to its potential use as anti-radioactive shielding material, NASA scientists are considering extracting melanin from the fungus to develop a space-approved sunscreen. According to Redimez J.B. Cadero, a researcher at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, we know that space radiation is dangerous and that it damages matter. If you have a material that can act as a shield against radiation, it could not only protect people and structures in space, but also have very real benefits for people here on Earth. This fungus grows toward the hottest and most radioactive places, so its existence near Chernobyl is not a surprise. At Chernobyl, extreme ambient radiation still poses a huge danger to anyone who enters to this day. With this in mind, it is easy to see the advantages of having a radiation blocker to treat protective suits and reduce the ambient radiation through radiosynthesis. Even low levels of radiation, when contained, could be converted into safer, more useful renewable energy. On the International Space Station, the ambient radiation is lower compared to other parts of space, but it is higher than the levels found on Earth and therefore poses a threat to everyone on board. This fungus could help protect those living and working on the ISS and could lead to further discoveries of applications in medicine, safety and manufacturing. 
pilot survives in jungle for 38 days. Crash landing your plane in the middle of the unforgiving Amazon rainforest with no way of communication or any hope of rescue sounds like a plot from a cheesy film. Yet, unfortunately, it is exactly what happened to Brazilian pilot Antonio Senna. The 36-year-old was hired to fly supplies to an illegal gold mining operation in the middle of the rainforest. However, he was only halfway there in his single-engine plane when the engine failed, leaving him approximately 1,000 meters to make a crash landing decision. Fortunately, he was cushioned by the canopy of the trees and was able to miraculously land unharmed. Unfortunately, he was now stranded in the inhospitable Amazon rainforest, covered in gasoline with only a backpack, three water bottles, four soft drinks, bread, rope, a lantern, and two lighters. Shortly after, he gathered what he could and left the plane. It exploded, leaving him totally alone and abandoned with no shelter. Although he heard rescue planes overhead searching for him, the trees were too dense for them to spot him, and eventually even those beacons of hope disappeared. I was devastated. I thought I would never make it out, that I was going to die, he said. With essentially no provisions, he relied heavily on survival instincts to stay alive and avoid the dangerous predators like jaguars, anacondas, and crocodiles, in addition to the infinitely more poisonous and harder to avoid threats like bullet ants and poison dart frogs. He had crashed in a location so deep in the jungle that it was totally untouched by humans, and he stayed alive by eating only fruits that he saw monkeys eating. These fruits consisted of his entire diet for the totality of his ordeal, excepting three bird eggs that he managed to scavenge. He walked east day after day, just trying to stay alive and hoping that he would eventually run into civilization. And finally, after 35 days of walking, covering over 28 kilometers and losing 25 kilos, he stumbled towards the welcome sounds of a chainsaw and discovered a family of Brazil nut foragers. The family immediately took him in and began nursing him back to health, after helping him contact his mother to let her know he was safe. He is very thankful that he was able to be rescued and appears to have had a change of heart after his ordeal, saying, despite the circumstances that led to that flight, being found by a family of gatherers who work in harmony with nature, who don't damage the forest, that was magical. Needless to say, he has stopped flying for illegal miners after his safe return home. Giant Bat Found in the Philippines The internet has given rise to yet another viral post, as a Reddit post sparks discussion around a human-sized bat found within the Philippines. A couple of years ago, Reddit user Sakundes posted a picture of a gigantic fruit bat in their back garden in the Philippines. It did not take long for the internet to spread this picture around, with many jumping to claim it was trick photography or Photoshop, perhaps sprouting any claim they could think of to deny the existence of a potentially frightening creature. This post picked up traction and internet points once again in the June of 2020. With a Twitter user writing, Remember when I told you all about the Philippines having human-sized bats? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. The particular photo in circulation does give the bat some extra size, with the perspective and camera angles used making the bat seem much larger than it likely is. However, the suspected bat species found by user Secundes is definitely larger than the average micro bat that may spring to your mind. Flying foxes, given their name due to their facial shape, features, and ears resembling those of a fox, do have human-sized wingspans, with the largest species of flying fox bat having a wingspan that can reach up to 1.7 meters or 5.5 feet. Despite their large wingspan being rather intimidating, this creature has a relatively small body, barely larger than 30 centimeters, approximately 11.8 inches. Despite the clever angle initially, the original poster of the photo on Reddit added additional images from a variety of angles, proving authenticity and giving credibility to this impressive sighting. The second image depicted the bat yawning, as it woke up from a midday nap. Much like the bats we may be more familiar with, flying foxes are also nocturnal. With the internet hosting a world of people playing detective, the specific species titles soon came flooding in, with various posts adding their believed name to a caption, describing this bat as a golden-crowned flying fox. 
This has been discredited, however, with many pointing out the absence of the so-called golden crown, the yellow tuft of fur on the bat's head. Many think the public have been so quick to name the internet-famous back garden crashing bat a golden-crowned flying fox due to the great size, as the golden-crowned bat is amongst the largest bats in the world, belonging to the family named Megabats, which usually reside in Africa, India, Asia, and Oceania. The new conclusion that appears to be taking precedence is that this creature is a large flying fox, biologically named Terapus vampirus, another member of the Megabat family. Unfortunately, in the Philippines, nearly all varieties of flying foxes are labelled threatened species due to their habitats being destroyed and some people continuing to hunt these bats as a source of food. These bats are wonderful creatures, and whilst they may play the villainous vampire role on the big screen, these adorable animals need protecting. Hopefully, the discovery of these new bat species to much of the world through social media will help boost their cause. Female Amazon warrior buried 2,500 years ago in the Altai Mountains was male. Siberia is the place of archaeological dreams, with an abundance of discoveries made constantly. Yet brand new DNA research shows that one of the most famous human remains uncovered on Siberian soil, thought for ages to have belonged to a female warrior, is actually a male skeleton. Initially, both archaeologists as well as anthropologists thought the corpse to have been a girl, a teenage girl with pigtails. They wholeheartedly believed her to be one of the elite warriors of the Longon Pazaric culture. The Pazaric culture has been compared to the infamous Amazons from ancient Hellenic legends, as the two cultures had an immense amount in common from historical and mythological sources available to us. The remains of the warrior were examined by a Swiss expert in taxidermy named Marcel Niffenager, who managed to reconstruct what their face might have looked like when they were alive using the facial bones, only to realize the skeletal recreation had seemingly masculine features. The remains were buried beside the tomb of an older male. Archaeologists assumed that the two might have been father and daughter buried side by side. The older man's corpse was buried with battle axes, bows and arrowheads, whereas the warrior seemed to have been an archer and horse rider, but that was not all the warrior was buried with. Alongside war implements, there were cowrie shells, a rarity in Pazaric burials, but this implied the body was that of a young woman as the shells were thought to represent female fertility. Other things in the burial mound included a wooden sort of pillow quivers and even nine horse remains that were found accompanying the corpse, meant to serve in the underworld. Now that the way archaeology is being tested, especially when it comes to DNA analysis, the tests showed that the body is not female as initially believed, but rather that of a biological man. This research was led by the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography from the Russian Academy of Sciences combined with the Novosibirsk State University. It appears upon further research that the older man was not a father, but more like an uncle. The elusive warrior's cause of death has yet to be determined. Further analysis is planned on being conducted on the remains and the circumstances surrounding the burial, in the hopes of uncovering more about the individual lives of these long-gone people, as well as to discover more about the Pazuric culture. But what do you make of these latest discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.